Hey, boys and girls, this is Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell's Math. Today we're going to be talking about nets and surface area, okay? Our essential question, or what I want you to know by the end of the video, is how can you use nets to find surface areas? Okay, let me repeat that. Our essential question, or what I want you to know by the end of this video, is how can you use nets to find surface area? Okay, now we've already talked about nets. I introduced it in class before spring break, all right? It says a net is a two-dimensional pattern of shapes that can be folded into a three-dimensional figure. The shapes in the net become the faces of that three-dimensional figure. Okay, so this is the first thing I want to look at here. It says, how can you know or how do you know that each net cannot be folded into a cube without actually cutting it and folding it? Okay, so without taking this shape and cutting it out, how do we know for sure that when I fold it up, it won't make a cube okay so first thing that I always try to tell you guys is, is how many sides does a cube have well the cube has six sides well that's the first thing I want to do is count to see how many sides this this net has so there's one two three four five well that can't make a cube simply because it doesn't have enough sides okay if I look at this one here well, it's got one two three four five six well it's got six sides but I can't fold this up to make a cube because this is just all one long shape. I can fold it the four times, but then I would have two pieces kind of hanging off on the end. You know, this piece would have to be here, and then this piece would have to be here. Okay, they'd have to be on opposite sides so they can fold up and make the front and the back or the top and the bottom or, or whatever. Okay, so that's how I know just by looking at it that it's not going to make a shape, a 3D shape. So the, the, the nets are very specific in how they look because they have to be able to fold up to make those shapes. All right. So the first thing I want to do is we're going to use a net, all right, to find the surface area of this pyramid. Now, we did a problem in class like this, and we did several other problems as well. So the first thing I, I would suggest is to draw a net of this shape. Now, this shape is a uh, rectangular pyramid. So that means I have a base. That's a rectangle. And then each of my sides, forgive my drawing, but each one of the sides is a triangle. And all three sides, because they meet in this drawing here, because they meet, that means every triangle is the same size. Okay? So my base is 16, and my height is 16 of that, that square in the middle. And that tells me it's a square because they're the same dimension. Okay? So the first thing I want to do, because I have a square... And I have a triangle. Let's come up with my formulas for the area of each one of those. Okay, so area of a rectangle is base times height. And area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, so let's do the rectangle first because that's easy. Multiply 16 times 16. And that gives me 256. All right, so I know the area of this rectangle right here is 256 square units okay so let's look at the triangle next all right all these triangles wait oh yeah I have a height here okay so I have a height of 20 inches okay I have a height on the triangle of 20 inches so that's important in this case so my area equals one half times the base which is 16 times the height which is 20 okay so now I just multiply these two numbers together, or three numbers. I multiply a half times 16, and I get 8 times 20. And then I multiply 8 times 20, and I get 160. So that tells me that the area of one of the triangles, just one, is 160 square inches. Okay? But I need to find the area of all four of these triangles. So they're all the same. So all I have to do is multiply 160 times 4, and that'll give me the area of all the triangles. So 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 6 is 24. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. So the total square inches for every one of these triangles is 640 square inches. Okay? I want to add that 
to the area of the square, which was 256. Okay, so 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 4 is 9, and then 2 plus 6 is 8. So the total area of that, the surface area of that triangular, I mean that uh, rectangular pyramid is 896 inches squared. So 896 inches squared. All right. And that's all you have to do. Take whatever net you have and, and draw it. I mean, right here to draw it. It doesn't hurt to draw this thing out. Okay. Don't, don't think you're wasting paper because you're not. You're helping yourself solve it by drawing out a net. Okay. And that'll keep you in track and make sure that you, you get all your sides uh, kept track of. Okay. So next thing. We're going to say the surface area of a three-dimensional figure is the sum of the areas of its faces. Okay, and a net can be helpful in finding the surface area. All right, now this is just one of the shapes that you may have, but a pyramid is a three-dimensional figure whose base is a polygon. All right, a polygon could be a triangle, could be a rectangle, could be a pentagon, could be, okay, any shape. Um, and whose other faces are triangles that meet at a point. Okay, and a pyramid is identified by the shape of its base. So in that last example, we had a rectangular pyramid. Uh, I think we've done an example before where we had a triangular pyramid. So it, it doesn't matter what the shape of the base is, but it will identify based on the shape of the base. Okay, so next problem. It says the figure shown is a triangular prism. How much would it cost to cover the bases and the other three faces with foil that cost 22 cents per square foot. So the idea here is that I'm not trying to figure out the surface area. I'm trying to figure out how much would something cost to cover this thing if it costs 22 cents per square foot. So yes, I have to find the surface area. That's part of the problem, but that's not the only thing. That's not what I, that's my, not my end goal. That's not where I'm going to stop. Okay. So first thing I want to do, just like we did in the other problem, is draw a net. Okay, so, and you may draw your net different. But what I want to do, because I got two triangles here, I kind of want to draw my triangles like this. Okay, then I'm going to draw my rectangle. And then, let's see, and that connects it. So I drew this triangle, and I drew this triangle, and then I drew this rectangle. So now, I draw that rectangle and I draw that rectangle okay now I just got to label all my dimensions all right let me kind of erase this so I, I get a good clear shot of what I'm talking about here okay so my triangles are going to be identical all right so I have a, a, a three foot side a three foot side a four foot side and my base is five feet okay my base is five feet and then this part here is two feet. This isn't part of my triangle, but it's part of, uh, it's this side right here. It's the, it's the piece, it's the rectangle that connects the two triangles, okay? But it's two feet on that edge there, okay? So now I have all my dimensions. I can go ahead and uh, figure out everything. Also, this three foot here is the height of my triangle because it's marked off with that, with that square symbol. Okay, so that tells me that um, this is the base and this is the height. It's a right triangle. Okay, so we go from there and we go ahead and start solving. So I have two different shapes. I have a triangle and I have a rectangle. So area, if I can write, area equals one half base times height. And then I have area equals base times height because one's a rectangle, one's a triangle. So let's do the triangle first. If my height is three, I say one half times three and my base is four. Okay. And then my rectangle, I have um, this rectangle. Let me go ahead and highlight this. This rectangle and this rectangle are the same size. Okay. This rectangle in the middle is different. All right, so let's look at the red ones first. I got two of those. I have a, uh, a base of two, all right, 
and I have a height of 4. Okay, maybe I can edit that out. Let's hope. All right, so I have a height of 4. On the other, and I got two of those. Okay, so let me go ahead and figure this one out. This is easy. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, so the area of one of these things is 8 square feet. Then I take that 8, and I multiply it times 2. Oops, let me erase that so I don't confuse anybody. All right, I multiply that 8 times 2 because I have two of these rectangles. So the area of both of these rectangles, I'll tell you what, let's do it this, let's just highlight it. Okay, the area of both those rectangles is 16 square feet. Okay, 16 square feet. Now, um, let's go ahead and go back to the uh, triangles. I got two of those also. So one half times three times four. I don't necessarily want to fool around with um, trying to take half of three, but I can easily take half of four. So half of four is two. Three times two is six. So the area of one triangle is six because I have two triangles. All right, I have two triangles. I have to multiply six times two and I get 12. All right, so my area of both the triangles is 12 square feet. All right, 12 square feet. So now the only thing I have left so let me just make sure I have this all highlighted. That's the triangles. I got those. Last thing I have is this blue square right here. Okay, and what's the dimensions of that blue square? Well, it's two inches wide. Okay, and then it's five inches deep. So I use the same formula. Let's just put it over here. Area equals base times height. And I just say that area equals 2 times 5, and that gives me an area of 10. Okay, so now I have all my sides, all my faces represented, and I just add them all together. Okay, so I got 10 plus my two red sides of, of 16, and then my two triangles of 12. I add them all together. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then I have three ones. So the total square footage that covers my surface is 38 feet squared. Okay. Now that's the surface area. And I actually wrote over my picture behind my picture. I'm sorry. But yeah, 38 square feet is my total surface area. But that's not where I need to stop. I need to find out how much it's going to cost. Let me erase some of this stuff here. There we go. Okay. So um, I have to take my 38 square feet and I have to multiply it times 22 cents per square foot. So 0 0.22. All right. And I'm multiplying. So 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. 0. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. 6. 13. 8. I have two decimal places, so my answer has two decimal places. So that means it will cost, this is what my answer is, $8.36 to cover this shape here in a foil that costs $22.